Hello? Is somebody there? Oh well. Guess I'm just hearing things. Keep your hands down. Turn around slowly. Well, what a lovely morning greeting for yours truly. Don't be a smart-ass kid. What are you doing here? Listen, we were just staying the night here. We should be leaving here soon. How many more of you are there? Enough to take you down. Now drop it. How about you do the same, girl? Hey, 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 hey! Let's all lower the guns, okay? We don't need to turn this into an ugly situation. We don't want any trouble. We just weren't expecting others in here while we searched for supplies. We don't want any trouble either. We're all good people here. We just had to temporarily take shelter here for the night. That's what the girl said to me. We're on our way to the Willow train station. We're hoping that there'll still be a train there for us to use. The Willow train station? You know, if you like, I know how to get there. So do we. We have a map for us to use. Oh, please. I know a much faster way to get there than what some dumb old map says. You're saying that you'd be willing to come with us? I guess so. If you and your folks are okay with that. Sure. You can tag along if you'd like. I'm Brian. This is Kyle, Emma, and Alice. My name's Alice, but some people call me Elle for short, but I'm not really a fan of that because Elle kind of sounds like a girl's name, but you can take your pick. I'm Chloe, and this here is Miles. Sorry, he's a bit more on the nervous side after some close encounters that we've had before. Well, it's nice to meet all of you. We'll get everyone else awake and we'll get moving. I can't believe that Jesse went out like that, just from some falling bricks. I know, I'm not happy about it either, Deb. That's why I wanted to start construction on this thing as soon as possible after that happened. Because I don't want the same thing to happen to anyone else. Well, it's smart to do that, but it's still going to take some time and hard-ass labor to finish this thing up. It's a risk that I'm willing to take, though. We need more shelter for this place, given all the people from Kentsville that we've been taking in. I'm glad that you're starting to teach yourself on how to do this. Yeah, but it's still more fun doing gun practice with you. Thanks, James. I was thinking about how some of the people at Kentsville are on that mission to find a train. Yeah, I kind of wish I was there helping them, you know, making myself useful. Me too. I'm worried about my friends that went on that mission, especially Brian. Why are you worried about Brian specifically? I don't know. I've known him for a while now and I have a lot to thank him for. He's protected us multiple times now, and I just appreciate him being there for me. <laughs> I think you have a crush on him. What? I do not. Oh my god, he has a crush on you too. He does not. Well, you both have my blessings. <laughs> Whatever. I have to get back to work on the clock tower. You stay here and you keep doing practice. Just try not to accidentally shoot yourself. Trust me. I've been getting better at this. Like I said, I've been getting better. You sure you don't want me to come with you? I'm just going on a quick walk, just to clear my head. You should be getting back to searching for more people anyways. It's sort of difficult right now though since a good chunk of our people went on that trip to Willow Station. No 
will be fine as long as you have Rocky by your side. But anyways, I should be back soon. See you later. <laughs> Drop it. Who the hell are you? I, I'm sorry. I thought you were part of my group. I, I didn't know that you were someone else. Well, calm down. What do you mean? You thought I was part of your group. Y yes I did, and, and I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. What's this group that you're a part of? The, the people that I'm with, they're not good people. They do all kinds of nasty things to other groups to stay alive. They care about nobody but themselves. What's your name? Ellie. My, my name's Ellie. I'm Anthony. I'm sorry if I scared you at first. You look clean, especially wearing that suit. Where'd you come from? Well, I'm so clean and wearing this suit because I come from another community of other people that's not far from here. I can take you there to tell me more. No. No, please, not more people. No, no, it's okay. I come from a group of good people. This place is safe. That's what they all say, though. Yeah, I understand that. But please, Ellie. You can trust me. <sighs> Screw it. I've got nothing else to lose. Take me to your community. How's the clock tower going? We've gotten about halfway done, but we've run out of bricks and we have no damn clue on where to find more. Alright, let me think. Um... How about the strip mall that Kentsville got most of their building supplies from? I guess it's worth a shot. I'll go out there to see if I can find anything. No, you stay here to manage the workers. I'll go there. You lost an eye only about a month ago, Grace. You shouldn't be going out on these missions right now. I'm fine, Liz. I've still got another eye. Forget it. I'll just put Deb in charge and we can both go out there to watch each other's backs. Alright? I can also bring James with us to put his target practice to good use. Are you sure about bringing that kid with us? Well, Brian brought Emma into the wild when she was younger and she's still standing tall. I guess so. Go grab him. But I'm telling you, you better have taught that little bastard well. How's the path looking, Jake? If everything goes as planned, we should reach the station by tomorrow afternoon. We don't even know if this Ellis guy is leading us in the right direction. He could be leading us straight into a trap. It's fine. Brian's smart enough to know if something seems dangerous. He's pretty good at sniffing out bullshit. I'll hold you to that, man. We can't afford to deal with any evil groups right now. Zoe. I think at this point we can handle anything that comes our way. I mean, look at us. We've been surviving in this apocalypse for over a year now. I guess. <laughs> you better be telling all of us the truth on where we're going. Of course, little lady. I swear that we didn't mean to come off as being hostile at first. But just right this way. I don't trust these people, Brian. Not one bit. I'm hesitant about this too, sis, but we've got to get to Willow. Even if that means listening to some random guy that we just met this morning. But between you and me, if anything happens, you know what to do. We take him out just like we would anyone else that seems like a threat to us. You got it. But, you know, it really does seem like you do whatever you can to reach your end goal, don't you? You know, you know me so well. Wait, Brian? I, um, I wanted to apologize to you about last night. 
I definitely overreacted with what we were talking about. It's okay. I sort of took you by surprise bringing up, you know, that possibility. I didn't mean to scare you with that. Well, just to let you know, I'm not exactly worried about you getting bitten. I think you'll be okay. And I'm not worried about you getting bitten either. We're both gonna be okay. Now let's get back to doing our jobs. This a uh, new friend of yours, Anthony? Dom, this is Ellie. She's told me about how she escaped from another group. And she's got some things to tell us about these people and how they may not be good. Alright, let's bring her inside and hear what she has to say. <laughs> 